Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, you've already read the title, you've seen the thumbnail, and you should know that I am now doing a podcast. It is going to be exclusive to YouTube for now, and it is called Piston Cup Talk, or the Piston Cup Podcast. There we go. So, on today's episode, we're going to talk about the new NASCAR racers, which I really haven't gotten a chance to talk about on the channel yet because of all the videos I've been uploading. But without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Mr. Lightning McQueen here. Um, I think out of all of them, McQueen has to be my favorite, like just because he's McQueen. Like how can you not like Lightning McQueen? Now if I can go to my picture right here, uh, McQueen, let's start with his pit stop barrier. It uh, has the Rusties logo, or well, yeah, just the Rusties. Uh, which is going through a lightning bolt. Um, I'll put a picture on the screen, by the way, for those um, who are actually watching the video, or if you're listening to it, then um, I guess you can. I'll try to give some detail of what what I'm talking about. We have the number 95 as well. It is, uh, you know, it's kind of like a banana yellow. Well, just telling you, I'm looking at the stock image of it right now. I don't actually have these cars in my possession yet. Um, yeah, it's like a banana yellow of what I can see here. Um, now onto the car itself. Let's go ahead and start off on the hood. It has it has the same Rusty's logo, which um, is going through the lightning ball right there. It is the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen model. You know, it's all it's mostly red. Um, number 95 is white. And he has his continuous sponsors on the bottom, yeah, like on the bottom, toward the back, basically. Uh, he has a new decal that says Piston Cup, seven time champion. And I think that addition is pretty cool. Um, let's see, the gas cap, the lighting around the gas cap is actually green. That's weird. And the word Rusty's, of course, right there. And on the top, we have the number 95 in white. And on the spoiler, it's a black spoiler, actually, with the word Rusty's on it, of course. So now let's go ahead and look at Mr. Jackson Storm here. Um, you know, he, he looks pretty cool. Um, he also has the green lining on the gas cap. Why do they all have, like, the green lining? That's weird. Um, let's see, the igniter right back there. Um, we have uh, light your tires, of course, and... Like a silver rims now. Didn't he used to have just black rims? Yeah, I think so. Uh, the back of him is blue now. And he has the S, his his uh, Storm logo right there. And he has the Piston Cup Champion sticker on him with his continuous sponsors under the number 2.0. Um, now in the hood, he also has the, the S logo on it with the igniter word going through it. And on the top, it says 2.0 and he also has his signature there. Um, overall, he's a pretty cool car. Now, remember, I don't have these guys actually in my possession, so I bet that when I do get them in my possession, I'll have probably like a better... I, I, might, I might have a different opinion, because currently I'm looking at a stock image of these guys. Now, next up we have Mater. Uh, he has, you know, just uh, your regular stock standard tires. These are kind of like the World Grand Prix tires that came with the World Grand Prix Pitties that, oh uh, yeah. And Mater, he's all red. Now this stock image I'm looking at, it shows that he does not have the hood. But, I might be mistaken, but doesn't he actually have the hood in the actual release? Just checked and no, he does not have the hood. Um, yeah, he has a headset on. So it's basically the Cars 2 
um, World Grand Prix Mater with the headset, but painted red, and um, he has the Rusty's logo on the door. The same Rusty's logo I've been talking about the whole time. Now onto Luigi and Guido. Luigi is basically also like the um, World Grand Prix Luigi as well. He has the Rusty's logo on the door and on his hood. He's painted fully red. And honestly, I think Luigi looks pretty cool. Now onto Guido. Guido, he's gonna be my favorite. Like out, out of these first four that I've talked about. Not my favorite overall, but he's one of my favorites. Uh, he comes with the drill gun to, uh, you know, so he can change Mokuni's tires and stuff. But he has that only on one, for, uh, one fork, one forklift. So that, that makes um, some space for the tires that also come in this pack. Um, by the way, these are all singles. I'm not sure what the price, actually, I'm on Walmart.com. So the pricing for them are $4.97. I'll talk more about that later. But yeah, the tires come with it. Um, Guido honestly looks pretty cool. Like, uh, so his top is black, while the rest of his body is um, red. It looks pretty cool. He also has the same Rusty's logo on the back of him as well. Now, uh, yeah, the, you know, same tires that come with Mater. And now on to the more exciting releases right here. Let me go into my pictures folder. And let's start off, I guess, with Chase Race a lot. Now, Chase Race a lot here. Uh, he got changed to number nine because Chase Elliott, he had to change his number to number nine. I'm not sure why. Um, I don't really know anything about the number changes in NASCAR. I'm not really big on NASCAR. I don't really know that much about it. But let's see. Um, the pit stop barrier that comes with him, all of the race cars come with pit stop barriers. The pit stop area, it says the has the Vitaline logo on it with the number 9 as well. It's, uh, you know, pretty cool. Honestly, um, I don't really have much to say about all of the pit stop barriers, except for my favorite one, which we will leave for last. And, um, let's see, Vitaline on there, number 9. He's, uh, he's pretty similar to the regular one. Um, if you guys are actually watching this video, you'll see the picture on the screen right here. Uh, yeah. You know, he has his, um, his, uh, continuing sponsors right there, of course. The top, number nine, also on the side. And Vitaline on the spoiler and on the back where, you know, it uh, would usually be on a regular Vitaline or Chase Race lot regular one. He also has the letter V, but in a really cool font, <coughs> excuse me, on the hood. And it looks pretty cool, honestly. And he also has um, green lining on the rims and black uh, lighter tires. So next, let's go ahead and take a look at, I guess, Ryan and Sal Blaney. Now, uh, he, of course, is voiced by Ryan Blaney. And uh, he's number 12. Now, let's see. His pit stop area is, you know, just blue with uh, dots on it with uh, the white blinker logo and the blinker text right there, number 12, they changed him. Fun fact, my uh, brother, his favorite number is 12. So I think he really likes this Ryan inside Lanny. And when I first saw this Ryan, I was really excited because he looks really cool. So like the, the hood is blue, right? But then the front, front end of the car is orange and then the back end is blue. So like, the combos are just awesome. He has the blinker on the spoiler, um, blinker on the back, number 12, where it would usually be, and the continuing sponsors as well. And he has uh, the silver rims with an, like a dark orange trim right there, and a uh, black light your tires, of course. Yes, yeah, so overall, he's one of my favorites as well. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, let's see, sidewall shine one. <coughs> nah. Maybe I should go drink some water. I will be right back. I'm gonna go get a drink of water right here. Okay, so, anyway, back to this. Uh, let's see, we are now at the sidewall shine racer, whose name is Karsten Ace Dillon. 
um, which is a play on Austin Dillon. Uh, let's see, he is number three, pretty cool. Um, the stock image is actually kind of different from the actual diecast. Um, the stock image looks kind of dark, but the actual diecast looks uh, lighter. Um, I don't actually have the diecast, but I'm getting um, I'm getting this info from the Pixar Cars YouTube channel um, of where they posted a, um, a new video pretty recently, revealing three of the new NASCAR releases. Um, let's see this. The pit stop area looks pretty cool um, with the with the sidewall shine logo and the the yellow, red, and black right there. Um, yeah, he's number three. Honestly, I don't really have that much to say about him. He's the Daniel Suarez model as well. Um, yeah. So, next up, let me see. Who do I have next on my list? Um, let's go ahead to Mr. I think his name is Gogo Logano, which is a play on Joey Logano. He's the fiber fuel racer, number 22. The pit stop area uh, looks pretty cool. It has the words fiber fuel on it with the number 22. And um, from the bottom, yeah, like from the bottom left corner to the top, one side of it uh, to the top right corner, one side of it, the top side is red while the bottom side is um, like a tannish color. Um, the car itself looks pretty cool. It's another Daniel Suarez model. Um, these are all next gens, by the way, except for Lightning McQueen. Yeah, so number 22, um, fiber fuel on the hood, continuing sponsors where they would usually be. Also, the green gas cap. Like, wh why do all of the stock images, why do they all have a green gas cap? Why? It just doesn't look good with the car. Oh, well, the good thing is that on the actual, yeah, on the actual car themselves, they don't have the green, or am I wrong? No, on the actual car themselves, they don't have the green one, the green gas cap um, lining right there. Which is pretty good, because I just do not like that green lining right there. It doesn't look good. Uh, let's see here. Finally, let's go ahead and take a look at, or wait, have I taken a look at all of them yet? Oh yeah, I guess I did. Um, let's see. So apparently, um, wait, Daniel Suarez, right, Danny. I forgot all about Danny. How can I forget about him? I'm sorry, Danny. Uh, let me see if I can find a quick picture of him somewhere. Uh, let me see. I will be right back. I'm just going to go look for the picture, and I'll be right back. So, hold on tight. Daniel Suarez looks awesome. His pit stop barrier has, you know, it's just like a dark blue with the octane gain words on it. The word octane is in white. The word gain is in uh, orange, like an orange yellow. And I'm guessing it has the number 99 there as well. I can't really see the full picture. Uh, um what I'm looking at right here but Danny Danny looks ripped like, seriously so cool like how in the world did they pull it like it just looks awesome if you guys are looking at this picture on the screen you can I bet you guys will agree with me that this looks awesome now Daniel Swervis he's one of my favorite characters uh, favorite next gens uh, my favorite next gen is Tim Treadless but Honestly, Danny looks awesome. Um, Danny, you know, he's just the regular him. Obviously, it's a Danny model. He's Danny. Anyway, um, let's see. On the hood, it says OG, which stands for Octane Gain. The top is number 99. I'm guessing that Daniel Suarez, the person who this is based off of, um, actually is, is number 99 in real life. Uh, let's see. Yeah, honestly, this Danny looks really cool. This looks so cool right here. Now, hold on. I just noticed something. So, they... Currently, the only racers that they have... Um, it's, this is not including Jackson or McQueen. 
the only next gens that they have are racers that were voiced in Cars 3 or are based off of real next gen, or real life NASCAR racers. So my question is, will they release all of the other racers as well? Like Tim Treadthis, Rich Mixon, Ed Trunken, Eric Breaker, um, yeah, like those guys. Will they release them? Because the common theme is that all of these racers are either voiced by real characters, by real people, in like real NASCAR drivers, or yeah, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Hmm. I, I honestly wonder if they will make them. I hope that they do, because I would love to see a NASCAR Tim Treadless. That would just look spectacular. And a Cruz Ramirez. Because, like, my four favorite next gens um, from, from top to bottom, or from first to last. Tim Treadless, number one. Number two for me would be Cruz Ramirez. Number three, Daniel Suarez, and number four, Jackson Storm. Now these are their regular releases. I'm not basing this on different variants that they have. I'm talking about the regular Tim Treadless, Dinoco Cruz Ramirez, regular Danny Suarez, and regular Jackson Storm. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the pricing. Hold the phone, cause I forgot to talk about William Byrev. He is the shifty drug racer number 24. He is my favorite out of all of these new NASCAR Piston Cup racers that they've released. Just because of the combination of the pink or is it purple? I'm, I'm calling it pink, like a hot pink. No, it wouldn't be hot pink. It's like a dark purple, purple and pink mixed together. But that and gold together it's beautiful like if you guys are looking at the picture on the screen right here it is beautiful it's even better than the thumbnail that that i made for this video so i give this one a 10 out of 10 and now we can go ahead and talk about the pricing now i'm i'm not one to really worry about the pricing um like what I'm talking about when I'm talking in my videos but you know these guys are five dollars like a dollar over what they uh, would would usually be the only reason why is for two reasons actually one they have the word NASCAR in, in them and two they come with a pit stop barrier so apparently, those two things add up to one dollar. Um, why can't they just be, like, the same price? Well, like, these guys are not deluxes, but, yeah. I hope that I'm not being annoying for you guys, but I mean, like, I just had to bring that up, because, you, you know, it, it, it's just because they say the word NASCAR on the tag and because they have a pit stop barrier so yeah um i hope that you guys all enjoyed episode one of the um the piston cup podcast and yeah we will see you guys on monday or whenever the next video will be we'll see you guys then this is rusty's 95 signing out mm, bye